up guys this is anthony from hawkeye rides i'm here today at land rover st petersburg florida tanner has given us this 2021 range rover autobiography 50 edition in the small wheel base this is in your svo premium blue msrp starts at 148,500. dollars the model we're bringing you today is at 166,230. dollars this is one of only 1970 models it's very unique because this is the 50th year anniversary. So you have this really retro design and the special looks and pops to this ultra limited flagship SUV of Range Rover. Powered by your 5.0 liter V8 supercharged, 518 horsepower, 461 pound feet of torque, matted to a ZF eight speed automatic transmission and still getting you 16 to 21 MPGs. We're gonna go over all the specs and details starting now. Edges throughout this special edition including the black exterior pack it's around $2,200 what do you get with that you're getting that Narvik grill mesh inside the surroundings is also black it's a high gloss block polish and it sets a nice tone to the blue look of the vehicle you're gonna get your striking LED front daylight running and headlamps with the width of 78.1 inches and a height of 73.6 ground clearance because this has the adjustable suspension it's going to be between 8.3 to 11.7 inches wading in water to 35.4 inches that's the best in class for any SUV on the market. The design is effortless, iconic, and more contemporary. And that's what you see out of this 50th anniversary. Narvik black side vents, accent graphics for the 50 badging. Coco high gloss black wheels. And I like the black pillars and all the black trims on the windows because we have that blacked out edition for the Narvik black. It'll be on the side view mirror caps as well and also on the door handle trim area. The length of this vehicle is at 196.9 inches with the wheelbase at 115 inches. This is gonna have your adaptive suspension with four wheel independent suspension that sports two. Narvik black tailgate finishers and it sets a nice tone to this blue aesthetic. So you got the black and it just kind of outlines the whole tailgate, a nice set for the 50 edition, no badging except for your autobiography and your P525. You're gonna be getting 7,716 pounds of towing. LED brake lights is set on this with your 360 degree camera with your front and rear park assist, parallel perpendicular parking as well. Going inside to your cargo at 24 cubic feet, maxing at 63 cubic feet, and it's a two stage, so you just push the button for the bottom one. You can also raise and lower the suspension in the rear to make loading effortless, or you could just kind of sit back here as we go inside to start this thing so you can hear the engine. <laughs> Before we go into the interior, I'm gonna raise the suspension so you can see as you're looking, my head is over the door panel. Raising it to the highest setting, and now you see my head is it's almost level. The door panel. Let's see the interior. Entering inside this autobiography, you're gonna be getting 39.5 inches of headroom, 39.1 inches of legroom, which is quite a bit especially for the design of this vehicle. It's a nice box shape, rugged look, soft closed doors, window leather, the front seats, they're bucket, ventilated, heated, massage, memory, 22 way power adjustments with 25 different relaxing massaging programs, including rolling and pulse mode. 
four zone climate control. This has your cabin air ionization, which takes the particles out of the air and it sticks to the compartments and all over the vehicle. So it helps if you have any allergies or anything of that nature. This has the in control infotainment screen with touch pro dual 10 inch on the top. You have the pinch and you got the swipe for your navigation, Bluetooth connectivity, Sirius XM, HD radio, you can view essential information on the driver cluster which is fully reconfigured at a 12.3 inch display. 825 watts with 29 speakers for this Meridian sound system. That's insane, it's literally like a concert every day. Heads up display, you got the modern design for the dash. I like the leather and I like all the soft touch textures for the elbows, super soft. In the center here, you can fit a 16 ounce bottle, you can fit a 20 ounce bottle with no problems, an area for your phone, and you got that badging. One of 1970. I like what they're doing here. 1970 is the beginning, shows 50 years in a signature. You can also get a commemorance plaque when you buy this vehicle. Opening up in here, you're gonna like this. You have storage here. You know what? You got the refrigerator that can fit four 16.9 ounce bottles. All the buttons for this Touch Dual are multitask. And whenever I push them, it'll be for my ventilated or heated seats or for my massage seats or to do your upgrading in the suspension. You can do that via through this knob. And if not, just push it there. Let the vehicle do everything for you. That's what you should do when you have a Range Rover. The steering wheel, you got the wood and the leather. I really like it. It's a strong, meaty steering wheel. Paddle shifters, it's heated. You have your adaptive cruise control, your lane keep assist, everything. The Pro Pilot, more or less. It may not be called that, but basically it will drive through you for about 10 to 15 seconds. Door panel, soft on the top, soft everywhere. All your seat configurations and you also have whenever you go to open the door it has a little security system that shows if somebody is you know a cyclist or a vehicle or something it will alert you it's a really nice little feature there storage in the door panel you can fit probably four or five 16.9 ounce bottles let's check out the rear for the back seat you're getting 39.4 inches of headroom 39.3 inches of legroom i put the front seat further than I would sit just to show you that someone six foot three and probably six foot seven or eight three adults that size can fit back here cup holders in the center you can fit a 16.9 ounce water bottle probably a 20 ounce you got a storage compartment you can fit maybe two iPhone SC's dual climate control heated and ventilated seats plenty of charging ports you have more than four or five you got storage behind both of the back seats you have air vents in the center and also on the ceiling with this leather roof liner very nice touch you can adjust the panoramic moonroof opening and closing the shade in the rear I can open both of the back windows here or I can just open my own the only downfall is if you have you know younger children and trying to irritate you they can obviously play around with this stuff soft textures for the elbow door panel really nice setup you got the black polish you can electronically move your seat storage in the door panel 16.9 ounce water bottle you can fit probably three or four so this is definitely a family SUV and you can move these seats electronically like I was saying just to show you it doesn't move up to a firm 90 degree so it's still comfortable Let's see how I look in the center. Sitting into the center is still comfortable. You don't sit up so my head isn't hitting the headliner. My legs are not really touching the back of the seats because I have plenty of room here. So you can fit three adults my size or taller. But if you're only fitting two in the back, it's definitely gonna be a little bit more pleasurable because you can just put this center down and just relax. Putting it into reverse. We do have trajectory, 360 degree camera, sensor functionality all over the vehicle. I'd like to thank Tanner at Land Rover St. Petersburg, Florida for giving us this 2021 Range Rover Autobiography 50 edition for our car review. If you're already a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Hawkeye community. If not, click that subscribe button. Check out the details, the merchandise, and everything we do here at Hawkeye Rides.